Stop and listen for a second, especially if you're a fish keeper. The nitrogen cycle is probably the most important part of owning an aquarium. Every fish keeper should understand it, because without it, aquariums can quickly become toxic environments. It all begins with uneaten food. Fish waste. You know. Poop. These break down into ammonia, which is very toxic for your fish. Because of this, we need to establish colonies of beneficial bacteria to convert ammonia to nitrites, and then nitrites into nitrates. The first group, ammonia oxidizing bacteria, are fairly quick to establish in new tanks. They feed on ammonia, converting it into nitrites. But the cycle isn't done yet, as nitrite is also incredibly toxic. As time passes, a second group of bacteria will form, nitrite oxidizers. These take the accumulating nitrite and convert it into nitrates. Nitrates are much less toxic, but it isn't entirely harmless. In small amounts, fish can tolerate it, and plants even use it as a nutrient. Just don't let it build up too much. We aim for around 20 parts per million. Even though plants absorb nitrates, water changes should still be done. When starting to establish the nitrogen cycle, ammonia rises first, then begins to fall as nitrite spikes. After that, nitrite declines and nitrate steadily rises. The whole process takes time, averaging around six to eight weeks to fully establish. Only once nitrates are present and both ammonia and nitrite stay at zero can an aquarium be called safe for fish. Once the cycle is established, one part per million ammonia should completely convert into nitrites and then into nitrates within 24 hours.